Debo Samuel, wide receiver for the 49ers, got injured. But actually, if you look at this play, he's actually lined up as a running back. Uh, so he is out with a groin strain. Now, see, a groin sprain. We talk about this all the time, uh, or people discuss this all the time, but I'm not sure if people understand exactly what that means. Pain in the groin, what's a sprain? Anyway, so uh, this is what happened. Like I said, look at this play. He's uh, uh, lined up as a wide receiver. It's a non-contact injury. So uh, this happens. Um, uh, the proper term would be, uh, you know, would actually be adductor sprain. Okay, so um, what we're talking about is the muscles that attach to, uh, did I say sprain, strain, adductor strain, the muscles that attach up here, okay? These are the muscles that adduct your hip, right? So you're talking about the adductor longus, magnus and brevis, gracilis, uh, pectineus, Sartorius is in there as well. Yeah, anyway, so all these muscles adduct. In other words, bring closer to the midline. Okay, so abduction is taking something away from the midline. So if you abduct your arms or your legs, you're doing this. If you adduct, A-D-D-U, A-D-D, adduct, you bring them closer to the midline, right? So the adductors do this, okay? A groin strain occurs uh, when you have forceful extension external rotation okay. uh, uh, and you have uh, you have some tearing or uh, or how do I say this yeah tearing tearing of some fibers uh, or attachments right and the groin where these muscles attach that's why they call it a groin strain it's actually it should be called an adductor strain it's what you're usually talking about and it's usually the adductor longus muscle um, uh, you know it could have been Looking at this play, it's kind of difficult to understand exactly what he did, but he was probably having an eccentric contraction. In other words, the muscle is lengthening while it's contracting. Okay, uh, that happens with change of directions, uh, acceleration, uh, any of those actions. So, and that forceful action um, causes the injury. Now, what are the symptoms? Pain. Now, if you watch this video, he doesn't really look like he's limping. Okay. Uh, and that's fine. You can have a groin injury and not limp. The pain is elicited when you do a physical exam and they have pain with resisted adduction, ADD, AD, ADD adduction, right? Because that's when you're going to feel the pain where that, um, where those muscles are inserting and where they're injured, right? So as, uh, with the action that they are supposed to do. So with resisted adduction, in other words, he's trying to bring your legs in this way and you're putting pressure, pressure against it. You'll feel, the pressure, you'll feel the pain in his groin. So it's not necessarily going to happen just with walking. So you can't necessarily know it from walking. But he's going to feel it when he tries to run. How do you treat it? Rest. And rest. And ice and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Uh, and um, gradual return to sports. So he's going to be back. Um, uh, do they ever operate on these? I don't think, I've never really heard too much about everybody operating. I don't think there's any evidence that shows it operating on these. I think there was a, a complete detached uh, uh, muscle. They can reattach it. But for what they're talking about here, this is some micro damage that's going to heal on its own. So he just needs some rest and then a gradual return to activity and he'll be back. So uh, uh, that being said, it really depends on how bad the injury is. Uh, obviously, you know, the more damage, the more... Uh, time he'll need away, um, but I think he's going to be back fairly quickly. Is, is the groin one of the areas of the body that has uh, that doesn't have great blood flow? Like other under, other tendons, like in the foot and the and the Achilles, are, are harder to heal because of a blood flow issue. Well, I mean, it's, it's the, the the problem is that at the insertion sites, there's a there's there's a, there is a issue with blood flow at the insertion sites of muscles to bone in general, um, so. Uh, that's why th there can be difficulties healing um, uh, in, situa situ in, in these situations. Uh, but you know, he's, he's, this, is, this, is, this is an adductor, adductor strain. He's going to recover. It's going to take some time. 
uh, for the for the, for, uh, for the body to heal itself, uh, and he'll do some grad, some physical, some rehab, and get back to uh, get to back back to playing um, uh, uh, in in short order, I believe. Uh, this happens in soccer players, happens in hockey players, you know, any sport where there are going to be rapid changes in acceleration, as you can imagine, uh, or rapid changes in direction, as you can imagine, uh, uh, and it's not a contact injury. Is this, um, so right now Aaron Rodgers has a, has a broken pinky toe, and they give him a shot so he doesn't feel it, but it wears off during the game. Is, is the groin one of those injuries that you could give him a shot and he won't feel it, or will it, will he not feel it, but it would get, would the damage be much worse? No, sure. I mean, you take, you take, you just take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, it's going to feel much better because the inflammatory process is uh, not there. You are going to be a little weaker, uh, uh, anyway, and that's why you need to rest and allow things to heal and get some, uh, uh, get some gradual return to sports. Uh, but there is going to be a little bit less strength. Um, uh, and I think the same would apply even if you dope the person up. Um, they would still have a little less strength in that, uh, in that, uh, in the adduction. It might affect, it might affect them. But I can't tell you that because I've never played with a groin injury myself. And the, and the, could it get worse if you played too early? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you need to rest. You can, you know, there's already, like you said, you're, like I said, there's already micro, uh, there's a, uh, there's already uh, uh, some uh, tissue damage already. Uh, if you don't allow those tissues to heal and continue to put the same amounts of force on it, yeah, you can tear tear the uh, the tissues even more, uh, resulting in a worse injury.